machen. Hi everyone, good evening. It's Women's Day here in South Africa. It's the 9th of August and I'm so excited. I've got my last guest for this evening and it's another coach. As I told you with the previous session we've had today, it's a day full of coaches. So throughout this conversation, I, I invite you to be mindful, to be present in this session and to ask any questions that might come up from the discussions that I'm having with my guest. And my guest here is here to transit, to empower you, and to, to motivate you. And throughout the session, remember to type the questions. So we are also live on Facebook, we're live on Zoom, and we're live on, on YouTube. And for those who will be listening to this recording later, just send us comments as well. So what is joining the conversation for those who are just listening to this session for the first time? It's joining the conversation is whereby I, I have conversations with different women from all walks of life because I believe that everyone has got a story to share and the life experiences that you have been will motivate someone who's in a bad space. Maybe someone wants to change their career. Maybe someone wants to make a, a major decision. And just you sharing that story empowers them and uplifts them. There's so much happening in this world and we need a lot of inspiration and positivity. And we cannot do it alone. And that is why we've got these sessions. And I'm also part of a foundation called Women Emancipate Yourself, where we have to emancipate each other because if we don't, we are not going, the next generation is not going to survive. We're going to kill the foundation. So it's time to build the foundation and inspire people out there. So my name is Transformation Coach Mashudu Mbele, and some know me as Miss Mbele. I'm also a negative emotional therapy practitioner. I'm also an intelligent. What I do, I help people get rid of their negative and mental baggages, you could say, and those could be depression, maybe someone's going through a relationship, someone's going through anxiety, and many things, and also helping them with their negative belief system, which are sabotaging their lives, so I become their accountability partner. I help them to answer questions. I help them to realize their gifts and talents a lot much faster than they can do it on by themselves. But that's enough of me. Let me introduce our guest and let her introduce herself and get to know her better, who she is, what is she is all about, and the beauties that we join the conversation can be done across all continents. And she's live with me from Germany. So I'm so excited, guys. <laughs> So send comments, send the love, share the post as you are listening through. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mashuru. I'm so pleased to be here and I like could not <laughs> wish to be somewhere else in a better place. And um, thank you for introducing yourself. I feel so inspired <laughs> again. And um, yeah. Um, I'm Maximiliane, I'm soul coach, and um, that's yeah, um, the name under which I'm yeah, supporting people to really connect to themselves. Um, like as a coach and as a mindfulness teacher, I help them connecting with themselves, their real inner being, their light, to find also their shadows, which are mainly sometimes we try to more push them away or we put them under the carpet but like I help them really finding it out and taking it out so it can become light and we become very empowered and I think that's what the world needs especially at this moment and um, 
This can be like in relationships, in career, means, means finding your vocation or really what your true fulfilling fulfillment in your professional life is, but especially also in relationships, in your family life, um, in your romantic relationships. So you can become the version of yourself that yeah, really helps you making the world a better place. And um, it all also comes down to being more like spiritually open and aware and finding the confidence and self-awareness inside of you that really gives you the freedom to live in light and love um, in a spiritual sense and the end of the day and very practical um, tools um, yeah, I share with my clients. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing that. I was about to ask you what is the soul food? Can you expand on your brand there? And I see on Facebook we've already got 10 people who are with us. And also, welcome to Lee and welcome to Lee. And if you've got questions for my guests, please type and I'll ask them as well. And we've got also Tandi Yue, and they're saying, Thank you for this. They are so excited to be here. I'm so excited. I'm feeling this. So <laughs> Me too. Yeah, yeah. So my follow-up question is, what is your message to us on this auspicious day, on this special day? For South African women, it's a great day. Mm -hmm. And yeah, since it's a women's day, what is your message for us? Yeah. Thank you for asking this question and I actually get goosebumps now because I think it's really letting go and trust the process um, that's something I'm learning myself continuously and it's just something that gives us so much more like love and loving relationships and freedom to really be who we are and to really truly connect to oneself and other people around us and to share all or to, to actually receive all the gifts that are there. And it's to, to dive into the feminine energy and the feminine power that really allows us to separate us a little bit or like accept the male, the, the male part inside of us as well, but like through connecting to our inner feminine wisdom, which is letting go, which is we trust that there will be something bigger is awaiting and we get tap into our creativity and really we are who we are instead of we we force things or we, we make plans or we are very driven and wanting to achieve which is a very good yeah you know, very good qualities inside of us which is more the, the male energy and we really also need but I think it's so important especially today in women's day in South Africa <laughs> which I didn't know by the way which is awesome <laughs> I love it. I have to share it with my friends later. <laughs> my most female um, people there. So yeah, thank you for sharing. But it's really tapping into the feminine wisdom of trusting that everything is okay, that we are at the right place, that we know who we are and we can just lean back. And this is sometimes enough and more than we can actually even do with, with the male energy inside of us. So yeah. It's, I guess, the, the femininity we can all just learn so much more from. And I just love and keep learning it with my clients as well. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. And earlier with my first guest today, we were talking about feminine energy and the masculine energy. And I just realized that today, as much as the topics are similar with the coaches, it's never a coincidence. We need to speak about this as mm -hmm. well and be women today. Thank you for that. And my other question that I have for you is, you are a soul coach. As much as you're talking about feminine energy, what are the common themes that are coming out that you are realizing? Because it doesn't matter where you are in the world because we are one. We might be separated by different reasons. What are the things that are coming out and what can people do? You mean just to understand the question fully in terms of soul coaching or what are the main themes in, in, like in, in what exactly? The things that are coming out in your coaching practices mm -hmm. that you're talking to 
yeah and okay message that you can impart to us awesome thank you for this amazing question so i have to just stop a quick second and think let it come through mm. so first of all it's really how to connect to your values and what you really are inside because i realized and I had this amazing picture yesterday that you know we come into this world and we are like this little let's say my finger is this little baby and then immediately like we are still in the belly of our moms there's so much so many thought patterns so many you know things we should do we shouldn't do the, if it's right whether it's right or not it doesn't matter and like you know only things that are really affecting us from being our true authentic self our real self and coming back to what is the true, what are the true values that really, that are you? What is inside of you, that your, your true being, basically? Instead of the doing, you have to do this because society or our parents or anyone else tells us how to do this and we're not even aware. So let's say like in Germany, it is very good to be a very good, strong businesswoman, right? But do I really want to be this? Is my light being, is it, really this or is it also for example being a mom and loving this <laughs> and not judging that and allowing that, that it's both is fine and who are you really inside what is what are your values how do you want to really act and do you want to go out of your house and talk to your neighbors or do actually people say oh this is not a good thing right because then you could like you know look at if you were like you know, too, too open for other people or then too closed if you don't want to speak to them. So really finding who are you inside, really. This is what I'm mostly working on with my clients. Um, so coming back to the inner light, to the inner yeah, spark that shines within you and then putting that into all your so. The coaching I do mainly with the coaching program really is to, to focus on all areas of your life. So it means it's a very holistic coaching, but through finding your spiritual guidance within you. So your inner voice that really strengthens your inner core. And then we take this and put it so it can also be called your life's mission or your purpose or that what you, who you really are, what you're here for how you can also give back and save the world to make it a better place, but in your own strength. So yeah, this is then like the holistic sense of like looking at, at your different life areas and then seeing how can you bring more light into that. So let's say it's your financial, the area of your financial stability or your career or your relationships or your spirituality or your health, your well-being. So it can be almost anything, but finding out what really gives you energy and what actually drains your energy. So yeah, that's one special part, I would say. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So I have a question from Facebook. It comes from Tuli. She's saying, how do we tap into our feminine energy? Mm -hmm without appearing like we are feminists? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. So with feminists, I must say, I don't even want to go too deep into that, but I would love to talk about how to tap into the feminine energy. Well, because again, to be a feminist, again, is something made from society, which again holds us back from really truly tapping into the the real being that who we are inside. So I love to start with oneself and see how can I tap into that. And this is maybe you can ask yourself, how am I when I'm truly creative? When I feel like I don't have to do anything, but I can just be. And what can I do to just let go of the thoughts, the patterns of the being, what I think, the person sitting in front of me talks or speaks is right or wrong. Who am I like to, to really stay present in the moment and trusting that whatever comes up at this moment is right. So it comes with mindfulness and 
being truly present in our present awareness at the, in the here and now. Another question is, yeah, how am I when I'm in true flow, when I really trust that every single thing, that every single part of my life, like my family, my friends, my relationship, my job, this is actually good and it's perfect in the way it is. Who am I then? Who am I when I let go of control of wishing everything else could be better or different? Who am I then? What can I do then? What, what, how can I amplify making or how can I, how does it affect my surroundings around me when I'm just really accepting? And I think acceptance is a very big part of just letting go of thinking it should be better, but accepting our true self, what we really want. Um, yeah, I think that's it a little bit. And then it's like sometimes like I'm very much coaching with body awareness and always when we feel starting feeling tense, there's something like in us that wants to control the situation. And we really like let go of our muscles, of the emotions that come up, of our thoughts, of actually everything in our, inside of our body, also physically, of like letting go of like the hips or the cramps of like, you know, the, the muscles inside of them, just let it go and really relax into that. So how am I when I'm truly relaxed? And what comes up then? Who am I then? And this is another feminine power inside of us that we really trust it and we, we start letting go of the control we, we feel in our bodies. We really tend to cramp inside of us all the time, especially as women as well. Um, I hope that helps a little bit. <laughs> There's obviously so much more. <laughs> But yeah. Okay, Julie, I trust she, that you understand from the response. Let me know if she made sense to you. So do type in as well. I'll, I'll continue asking. So, guys, those who just joined us, welcome, guys. You're welcome to ask questions with this awesome guest that I have. And just be yourself and yeah, and learn a lot about what we are talking about. My next question is, you have shared this message about, about being feminine, what you do, why is it so important to you? What is it, why is it so pertinent? Why did you have to come and share it to here today? So, so you mean, sorry, again, I have to, so the question is to, why, why this is so important to me, why the message is so important, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> try to make <laughs> give you the, the right answer I guess because like I really have observed within myself of and this is a very personal experience I share now that like a part inside of me was touching my mom for example for a long time because my parents got divorced when I was 11 and I tend to then touch the part inside of me the feminine part a lot because for me it felt like you know she was going away from our family and um, don't know the exact right English word now, but like, as if like, I feel like a part of mine has left and I was really deeply inside missing that, but trying to control everything from, from now on. And then I had a really tough time with my mom in terms of like, I lived like at both houses and stuff, but we didn't really talk and share a lot. And I had this immense experience. I do conscious dance as well. And it was all of a sudden I did this dancing and had an amazing moment with my teacher. And like after dancing, like hell and crying everything out and feeling the love of someone, of a real like mom and hugging me, I had after years the feeling of I really need to talk to my mom. And I was in Hawaii at the time. And so I actually went to Colombia afterwards and I was first alone and meeting my friend and I was like Wiki I really I have to call my mom and this is so funny she was like you never want to call your mom I was like yes well I have to call my mom <laughs> and from now on it, it really changed everything inside of me so much and it just like opened up the door like something I really felt like I have to tap into this feminine power again and 
I only realized this years ago and even more like when I realized like it's this feminine power inside of me I really I was missing so much and it's just letting go and not planning everything and structuring everything I'm pretty very much good in <laughs> so and not forcing things as well and I realized this is, was not only inside of me but this is actually a part in the world throughout a whole history where is so much you know hierarchy and um what's the right word um like the defeat the, the male power actually is like just a lot and I saw that there's a shift going on within also, you know, the feminine rising inside of all of us, also in men. It's not about men or women. It's more about what is the part inside of you that is feminine and what is the part inside of you that is masculine and how can we actually bring them together to make them whole again or that they can even live separately or like, yeah, separately, like independently from another so they can come together and just create something this is whole and it doesn't only live from one masculine part or one feminine so really empower this and tapping into that I realized after traveling around for so many years and trying to control my life to be happy or less I just have to come back to my family <laughs> and I just told you like one and a half years um, ago I came back through so many life coachings or like really good best life coachings and meditation journeys and everything like I realized this is what I really wish for and this is what makes my heart sing I have to let go of my thoughts and my controls my own judgments of how that could be and letting go of that was my real life experience to tap into my feminine power because I was not trying to control how my life actually should look like but more like how it feels inside. And I think then I really tried and started to live my life so that it makes me happy from inside instead of trying to building an image around me, which could potentially for others people look like as if I was happy, but it didn't make me happy. <laughs> and I'm now so much more happy. Like I'm just happy when I'm at home. And it's a struggle sometimes, it's a challenge, it's hard, but yeah, I guess that's, that's a real point to come back. And this is like, I've observed it in obviously so many women and men and like everyone that it's a whole consciousness shift and change. We're all in together. Thank you for that. And there's a comment from Tulip says, so thank you so much. What a well-rounded perspective on what you mentioned in terms of femininity. And for someone mm -hmm. who's going through being lost, what can they start doing? Let's just say, because you have mentioned for a coach, we know we've been through it. And for someone who's never met to a coach or going to a mental health practitioner, what can they start doing even before they go and see a coach to help them? Yeah. learn how to let go and and leave their feminine femininist femininity <laughs> <laughs> and just to start because because uh, everyone is here for a purpose on this step mm. and i remember what tanya said in, in the other session is, is that at times, if you don't leave your purpose, it's only realized when it's written on your obituary, if, before it's even written on your obituary. What can they start doing? It's mm. a really nice question. Like realizing the purpose, I think it's a journey really. And starting asking, like start asking your questions for yourself. Like how am I when I'm truly happy and satisfied and fulfilled? And maybe remember your lost um, memories of when you were truly happy and satisfied and what was it exactly maybe write it even down the story and you know take a highlighter and put in like just highlight the words you feel, re feel resonant if you feel like there's an energy behind it you feel like this is what really makes me happy and you can ask yourself um, what is it like 
in which situations with my family, what is the essence of it making me happy? Is it the conversations? Is it being in nature? Is it taking a walk? Like, what is it that really makes you feeling that the energy is this high and you don't even need coffee or green tea or black tea, but like you're really, like, you're just fully, truly vibrating and just asking, observing yourself. And it has a lot to do with energy. So where are you fit? Where are you like, you feel like you're, you're clear, you know, in your mind? Where are you feel like your heart is bumping or our heart has like 5,000, is 5,000 times stronger than anything else in our body. So where is your heart really, where's the heartbeat? Where is it really high? So where do you feel like in your belly, it just feels good and calm and you've even got some butterflies, you know? It doesn't have to be when you're in love, but it can be like, you know, just satisfied talking to someone or what did you really love doing when you were a little child? I mean, this is something really quick <laughs> to do, but sometimes also tough to do. And who do you really want to be when like, you know, people like, like let's say you've died and after your life, like what do you want people to talk about yourself? Like after that, what for what do you really want to stand for in your life? Like what do you really want to, what values do you feel like? What problem do you want to really solve in the world? Um, what is it that really makes your heart sing? Or maybe even sad, like what is it that you really want to help with? And this is, so not only what makes you happy, but really want to support the world making it a better place. And means like giving back where you want to really want to give back something. Um, so these are things obviously that comes with what are you really good in what are our strengths and this is sometimes the hardest part <laughs> because we can we can find so many things we're really bad about and we're really not good in but really asking oneself what i'm really actually good in and sometimes it's so simple and we don't even think it's a strength but if we ask also people around us like our colleagues our friends our family our husband wife children whatever just a little like what I'm actually really good in from your point of view and then just writing it down and finding your five greatest strengths and through that just asking yourself all these questions and maybe there's a really nice thing that's called ikigai you can read the books and stuff it's a really nice way of finding your purpose and fulfillment and satisfaction in life it's like a Japanese wisdom of how to be fulfilled so really asking yourself these questions and then do the things that really make you happy and fulfilled and forget about the things you have to do or you should do. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So guys, I'm challenging you to listen to this again and reflect on those questions that Miss Lillian has mentioned and find your people's and and throughout the conversation I've had, it's about knowing yourself. So this thing has been coming through. So here you've been given questions that you can look from a practical side before you even get go into how to approach and then approach them, take it from where you are to go beyond. And then I see Tandy says, wow, I love this and I love Wasabi. <laughs> Thank you for asking that as well. Like at the moment, I'm mostly only sharing, like only, but that's the main part is like really literally the, the golden egg, I would say. It's one on one, working with one on one people because I realized this is the most transformational work where I see people flourishing and really like the whole awareness and attention is just solely on them, which I love because I see them growing immensely and very quickly. <laughs> and really breaking, really having really breakthroughs and overcoming their obstacles and learning to deal better with challenges in all areas of their lives. So um, that's what I mainly do. You can find more info on um, information on my website. That's soulcoachmaximiliane.com. 
and um yeah and then i will like in um, autumn winter so like october november i'll start some new courses around like little mini workshops i try to make them like always keep the groups very small because i still find it's really helpful to if people can exchange their ideas maybe find my um like many people so you can really see also perspective of other people which gives you a lot of inspiration and still it's nice to keep the group in intimate like really small so you can really get the most of it and their topics will be about how to integrate more your true unique being into your um present life into your life right now and how to really make yourself bigger in a sense of how to let your whole inner being come out and make it in the future even nicer your life where you are at the moment without changing your whole life and flying to Hawaii and not or to, to Honolulu and not wanting anything at all anymore so you can really find practical tools how to tap into your femininity into you know wisdom and really finding that purpose out for yourself and um, probably also finding or like what I'm actually also doing is to find your true vocation so what you're really here for also in work life so you find also um in business or in in the work you really something you can earn money with what your strengths are what you're really good in what you love and um also how you can save the world um so yeah these are the topics <laughs> and obviously there is facebook and instagram you can always follow me but it's all soul coach maximiliane or um you can all find that on my website yeah <laughs> thank you and start the details on the comments as well and thank you so much for sharing this and for those who are just tuning in guys do listen to the rest of the of the video do share or take a friend that you believe needs to hear this message because it's all about planting seeds empowering and inspiring other people and join the conversation is not all about me or anyone who's who has been coming through and discussing you can start this wherever you are you can start it in your small class wherever you are just create that conversation with the pandemic what has happened is that people have gone to their own corners and there are people who are just so scared to speak to other people because they are scared of being shamed or somebody repeating what they said so there's lack of trust that is happening but in those small circles wherever you are you can create those conversations and plant seeds and help others as well and yeah i challenge you create continue with this conversation these conversations are gonna continue throughout the whole year initially it was the the month of august i've been challenged by other speakers and people sending messages we need to create this dialogue continue so that we learn because we learn from others you might think like it's only you who's going through this and you realize others have gone through this and so i challenge you on that and the next session is next week friday guys so i'm giving you a week off <laughs> so my day to Thursday, the one day session, but go to my YouTube, my YouTube belly, and listen to the other recordings as well. So they are being saved both on Facebook and on YouTube. So you can even download as you are driving to work or going to the shop. You can still listen and be inspired and make those notes. And and also reflect on what is being said. And you find out there's a message for you. And I see Tudi says this was really nice. Thank you. And she's sending hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So any final um, words from you before we close? Um, I just want to thank you also for you, Mashir, especially like for holding the space and open it up for so many people. I think like so many people like even through this response i get things so inspired and just helping the world making it a better place and sharing that connection connectedness through like the whole continent so thank you for opening that space and holding it and being such a oh, unique star <laughs> yeah um yeah i love your energy and thank you everyone 
being here and um, yeah, I'd love to stay in contact and also hear whatever you think also about um, yeah, the interview. If you have any questions, you can always just email me. It's also easy and quicker. Happy to answer questions and um, yeah, um, looking forward to keep in touch and wish you an amazing night and day and Women's Day in South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you everyone to everyone that's tuning in and those who tune in. Remember, share your comments. You can even come here on Facebook or wherever you find this video. Just if it is something that spoke with you. And also I like to challenge you. What was your aha moment? What was your key takeaway from this discussion? So do share with us on the comments. We love to to read it and be inspired as well. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your evening today. Yeah, it's Monday. It's a holiday for us. And then tomorrow most people are going to work and be safe. And remember God loves you. And spend time with your loved ones. Check up on your friends. Life is so precious. And the fact that today we're given this breath to, to breathe, which is the first thing that you get when you come on earth. And which is the last one. We need to be grateful for. So remember gratitude opens door for abundance and you need to do that with you today. Thank you.